Hello everybody, this is Debo with Debo's My Reviews here, and this week I will be reviewing Mission Impossible, starring Tom Cruise as Ethan Hunt, John Voight as Jim Phelps, who was originally the protagonist of the, of the original series, created by Bruce Geller, but I have to say, whereas the series was, he was, Phelps was played by Peter Grace, but in the movie it's John Voight. And what well, was one of his more iconic, one of his best roles? Because, yeah, when it comes to adaptations that have been shows, movies that have been adapted from TV shows, I'll say Mission Impossible became one that's though completely different from source material, because whereas the, movie, the series didn't have Ethan Hunt, as far as I know, because I could never get past the first season without a well, streamer service taking it off before I could finish it. And in there, in the movies, where each one gets better in the, fir the first one, which today I'll be mostly focusing on the first one from, from 1996. And... And it was a great take on it, on it for a movie that started the whole franchise. Whereas, of course, one few tie tie-ins from the series that the movie had, movies got was was that organization IMF, not to be confused with inter the the bankers, of course, and. And the tropes of teams instead of like long, instead of like sending the James Bond, so like with Bond, where he's the lone wolf in it the whole time. And more crafty with the gadgets, because whereas Ethan Hunt's more of a master of disguise, and it was a great story. Great but cliche storyline for the first one, which had, which was basically, because of of Hunt being the only one to survive after a failed job, at, which of course had on the trail of a terrorist played Ma known as Max, who of course was played by Vanessa Redgrave. Which the movies also starred Manuel Beard, John Renault, and of course, franchise regular Ving Rains. And well, Ving did a damn good job, job for his debut. And of course, all the whole epic action scenes from like the, the infamous sneaking into the CIA office disguised as, well, Some guys were disguised as, as firemen, and he sneaks into that room and does that whole infamous <coughs> <coughs> infamous bungee cord stunt. And of course, the whole climactic one at the end with the whole train fight and the whole gag from the first again movie where when Jack played while Emilio Estevez introduces him to that special gum going red light, green light. And for um, epic fight scenes. But overall, I gotta give Give it to a good start of a, the epic franchise that's been going on for about 20 years. But, but yeah. Mission Impossible, the first one. It's a great start. 
from the store, like I said, with the store line that has the, the agents getting killed off after a botched job, which, of course, spoiler alert, Agent Phelps was a traitor all along. Just despite his wife, who later, after, especially after thinking he was dead, thinking he was deaf, thinking that, which led Hunt into the play of thinking she was available. And the whole twisting and turning of other characters, kind of like where you think John Reno's character is one of the good guys at first, because he's recruited if he recruits him for a job after after basically being burned by a superior after the bot botch job and having to clear himself. And which of course led to the whole infiltration of the CIA scene. And then they had a whole epic trace of the, the train and the helicopter. Along with that whole epic explosion of that female agent. And but overall, I gotta give Mission Impossible a body. The first one, a four out of five. I mean, it's great, but the, the each sequel gets is better than the first one. Let's just say. All right, y'all. That'll be that'll do it for today. But I'll keep dishing them out.